Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. In today's video, guys, if you have guys uh, two codes on BMW E46, uh, codes such as P0102 uh, or P0113, one relates to mass airflow sensor, one is to uh, air, okay, air intake temperature sensor. Stay with us, guys, and we'll explain uh, where the mass airflow sensor is located and the intake air uh, temperature sensor as well. We'll explain where it's located, we'll scan the system, we'll explain what needs to be replaced if you have these codes. Uh, it should help you guys on a BMW E46, this is the 3 series from year 1998 to year 2006. So if you have one guys, please subscribe, uh, we'll have more than 200 videos on this car guys, and every car we get at the shop. Because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So, let's start on it now. So, I'll go ahead and start the car quick guys. Okay, and I'm going to show you how the engine light is on now. Okay, engine light, okay, just stays on. Okay, no matter what you do guys, this engine light will be on all the time. So, what is causing that now guys? In order to uh, find out what we need to do, okay, we need to turn the engine off. Okay, engine off, turn the ignition on without the engine running. Just the lights on like that. Next, we're going to get the scanner right here, guys. This scanner works on any car, not just BMW. You can find it, guys, list it in the description of the video below for your convenience. Super powerful scanner for the price. You can read and delete codes from the engine computer, airbag computer, ABS, and traction control computer as well, guys. And check out some of the functions here so you know what you can do. This is one important one, steering angle sensor. Uh, this is for the throttle position sensor and TPMS as well. So we'll go under engine right here. We'll select this one. We're going to wait for it to load now. Okay, it's loading. It's going to take just a little bit of time, guys. All the tools and parts, including the mass airflow sensor and the uh, intake air temperature sensor, all that, guys, will be listed in the description of the video below, and you can see where we buy our parts from for a very, very affordable price. So it's loading now. We have two codes. Okay, and the codes that we have. Okay, let me go back to system. We're going to click read codes right here. Enter stored codes and what we have now guys, P102 and P113. One is mass or volume airflow sensor, one is intake air temperature sensor. So, what is that now guys? Okay, let me turn the car off and I'm going to show you now, okay, where you can expect to find the part and what you need to do and see if replacing it will fix the problem. Okay, so, this is it guys, okay, right here. Okay, you can see this is your mass airflow sensor. This is your MAF sensor or intake air temperature sensor. All of that is integrated in this sensor. You have two sensors in one, mass airflow volume sensor and uh, intake air temperature sensor. Okay, everything is integrated in this one. On some cars, as you know, you have MAF sensor and then you have air intake temperature sensor, which is separate. On this one, no, you just have this one. That's why if you get any of the codes, you will need to replace that one. Now, we will have a video, guys, how to clean it. Cleaning this one, okay, uh, can save your mass airflow sensor. Check it out on the channel. If not, you have to replace it. We'll have the video on the channel. Uh, what we'll do now, we'll go ahead Okay, we'll go ahead, replace ours. We have the video on the channel if you want to see how to replace it. It's pretty simple. You need to remove your lid here for the air filter box and get that clamp loose. And you need to just remove two clips, one here, one there, and pull it out. If you want to see it, it's on the channel. But we'll go ahead, replace it, and see if that will take care of the problem now. So, we'll turn the ignition back on. Ignition is on. And now, we're going to go ahead and click back. Okay, I want to uh, reread the codes one more time to reconnect to the computer because uh, the ignition was off, so which means that the computer is not, that scanner is not connected to the car computer for a little bit. So we'll go ahead, reconnect, and then we'll go ahead and clear the codes. We'll click erase codes right here. Yes, erase done. We'll go ahead, turn it off. 
Okay, let's start the car now. Fire with no problems guys. So definitely guys that takes care of the problem. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.